Okay, so we, so we went back to the Institute for Advanced Study in 1958-59. We lived at 47 Einstein Drive, and it was like in a, a horseshoe, uh, in which there was a big green area. We lived at, at one end of the horseshoe, and right across the way from us, well, about, I would say, 50 yards, green, with green grass separating us, was Dirac. Paul Dirac, the famous physicist, and he, lit, and he was there with his uh, mother. And, and we had big plate glass windows uh, on our uh, houses, in our condominiums, like in, in, on Einstein Drive. And we could see directly across, uh, and there was uh, Dirac, and, and who would frequently sit there on the couch and watch TV. Now watching TV in 58, 59 was a totally non-intellectual thing, uh, especially in Princeton. Very few intellectuals watched uh, uh, TV, but that did not seem to bother uh, Dirac. Now, a, 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 in, the, in the hoop around the horseshoe, uh, uh, next to us was Reinhold Niebuhr, and next to that lived uh, Murray Potter, who was a, a good friend of mine, who was a professor of mathematics uh, from Berkeley University, UCL, UC Berkeley. So uh, Dirac uh, left, and he did not want to take his TV with him. So he, he took his TV and gave it to Murray Prater and asked Murray Prater to sell it for him. So we were there that night when Murray Prater was uh, selling the TV. Now, Adley Selberg was another famous math professor at the Institute for Advanced Study. Uh, and he and his wife clearly did not want to own a TV. But they came in to see Dirac's uh, TV because their daughter, their teenage daughter, wanted a TV set. Because all her friends had TV sets. And they came in and they looked at the TV set and they bickered back and forth. And, and then they said, well, you know, we really shouldn't get a TV set but it belonged to Dirac, so it's perfectly okay for us to get it, and they bought the TV set. Nice.